Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to Lit Crystal Fairy Suma type. Last time, but time traveled to stop Suicune from making it rain slightly more than usual, Johto. I guess I must have failed. Got through the ice path, caught a maw while, despite my Toadstick's best efforts to keep me from doing so. I traded off screen to bring it up to parody with the rest of my team, and had Moochers to the Dragon Claw in the early laser coverage, and Thunder Punch by TM. So this time I'm going to be taking on the Blackthorn City Gym, but first, I'm going to battle some more trainers just to train a bit more. So first we're going to go down this way, because you actually have to go down here multiple times if you want to battle everyone. So first we take on this hiker. Um, yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Zoom Rill is going to be the Pokemon I'm going to use to take on Claire. It's bulky, it resists uh, water-type attacks. It's got Ice Punch, with huge power. So it's gonna hit like a truck. We'll go this way. There's Black Belt. We'll keep going down this way. We'll take the... Oh. You can go both ways. Never mind. There's this guy. That was risky. Alright. So, question is I want to go down this way, or... No, we're going to go this way. And there's this one patch of water on the ground where I guess you can fish or stuff over there. I don't know. What about the suit you can get? Oh, and here's the. Uh, oh. Uh. That's annoying. It forces you to plant something. Never mind. Okay. Glitched out again. So, yeah, that's the other exit from Dark Cave. We're actually going to go back in there after we get our badge. There's another trainer down here. But he's going to be lower levels than the others. Oh, well, not by much. Never mind. Alright, now we beat up all those trainers. Let's fly back north. Now let's take on the trainer we didn't battle over here. Take you on now. Find B that way. And this way. Nugget. You can sell that. Don't pick up anything. And that's all the players we can take on on this route. So let's fly back north again. And then there's... Well, we can go down this way now. There's only a couple more trainers we can fight. Actually, this might be the last one. At least on this route. There's one other trainer up in Blackthorn City, actually. Yep. We're gonna go back to the north. Okay, so now... 
we're going to go over here. I say before fighting this one because she's actually quite a bit tougher than most of the other trainers here. In fact, in some ways, you could argue she's tougher than Claire. This is where having the rain actually works to my advantage now, because these fire type attacks are going to deal less damage. No. Alright, this we're actually going to switch over. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, now we've beaten all the non-gym trainers. Let's go back and heal one more time. And then we will go on to the gym. And now, let's go take on the gym. No, it's not my first battle against dragon types. I know what I'm doing. Actually, Lancelot's probably going to do really, really well. Okay. Take you on. Okay. Plus, you can't be poisoned by Caesar's poison points. Oh, whoops. Meant to use Dragon Claw. Good thing that the physical special split is in this hack. Otherwise, Mawa will be garbage. It doesn't, like, I don't think it even learns any seal type attacks of it, except, like, Iron Tail, maybe. But Iron Tail, shit. Oh, pick up something. What is it? Power point up. Good. That's always helpful. Let me see. Do I want to use that on anything right now? Alright, well, we're gonna save. I also ended up putting up Line Noon because I want to have as many of my combat team with me as possible. Not just because I have some tough battles coming up, but... Well, I'll explain when we get there. So, once more to the Breach. And rather than having a remix of the Dragon's Den theme for Gen 2, it uses the theme from the Mount Pyre Peak in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. Which, to be fair, might actually be an arrangement of that theme. I don't know. Uh, I was invited by Claire. I guess she didn't call ahead. Whoops. Well, I just did. Calcium. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll just sell that. <clears throat> Man, my throat's really, really dry today. Sorry about that. Yeah, you did. Okay. Shadow Ball. I should have used Ice Punch. Eh, whatever. But yeah, this I believe is the only mandatory portion where you have to have Whirlpool. Oh, Wild Routine. Yeah, you can find those little surfing in here. Now this guy right here, you can talk to him after you clear out Team Saturn. And, uh, well, you know how in Crystal version, you can get a Dratini that knows Extreme Speed. And you can also do that in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. You can kind of do that here. 
<clears throat> the way it actually works is instead of him giving you a Dratini, he will teach a Dratini, or it might be any Pokemon in that evolutionary line, Extreme Speed. He's a move tutor. And uh, there's a Dragon Fang, which in Gold and Silver was the condition to get the Rising Batch. Although I should note that in Gen 2, the Dragon Fang was bugged. It actually didn't do anything. The Dragon Scale had the hidden effect of doing what the Dragon Fang was supposed to do, in addition to helping you evolve Seedra into Kingdra. Okay, so... I could give that to uh, Mawile if I wanted. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, Geodude. I just noticed this. I didn't even see that. It was an S and an arrow pointing that way. S for Saturn. Huh. Okay. Alright, go away. Now we're going to go down here, take on this guy. Make me. This is, I can tell already, this is going to be one of the longer episodes just because there is a fuck ton of stuff to do down here. <clears throat> we're actually going to use Max, we're going to use Repels in here because there is a lot of wild Pokemon. Some of, which it, some of which is either very hard to find elsewhere, or might actually be exclusive to this place. And if you're wondering, um, of course, this place being connected to dragons, yes, this is, in fact, where you get Rayquaza in this hack. But you need to get both Broughton and Kyogre first. I might or might not do that in this hack. Because it's a lot of work to get Groudon. on. Kyogre is actually really easy. But uh we'll we'll talk about that when we get there. Fine, be that way. Okay. Another power point up. Good. Well, too bad, because I'm going to keep going. Oh, thanks for blowing yourself up. <clears throat> Man, so much phlegm in my throat. If you're wondering, uh, that staircase on the right, that is what will lead you towards Rayquaza. Yeah, no, I'm not leaving until I'm done here. Fine. You want to get killed even harder? Okay. And yeah, Team Saturn loves their electric types, and they love to paralyze you. So bring a lot of cherry berries, paralyzed heals, full heals, whatever you need. And now we come down to this area, which looks like a part of uh, Cerulean Cave. You can also find Wild Eevee down here, by the way. Among other things. Okay. Go poison. Let's get moving. Might be an item down here. Nope. Then what was the point? Who are you calling a punk? Punk.
Actually, no, we're not gonna send out Galahad because you're a flying type and you're slow. You're gonna get murdered. So yeah, this is the platform which is based on the one Mewtwo would be on, but no, obviously not there. Think it's funny? I don't. That's funny, on the other hand. <clears throat> so is your pathetic attempt to stop me with light screen. And now we get to the more annoying part of this hideout. These really, really long stairs. Again, these, these guys really like to paralyze you. Fuck off. Hang on. Wasn't there an item over here? Too bad, I'm going anyway. Anybody think this is an awfully long way to go without getting healed, right? Well, you can't get healed, actually. And it's just up ahead. Damn it! Very narrow. Yeah, he's not. Neither am I. We're coming up on 10 minutes, so I should probably cut. Okay, so now we just gotta get through here. But we're not gonna go up in there yet. <clears throat> First, we're gonna use this. Yep, that spot will heal us. That's useful. Especially for what I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Not in here, but... It's after this. So in here, so this is the actual Team Saturn hideout. <clears throat> Big Pearl. Take on this guy. Now that will take us right to the end. We don't want to go out just yet. But, but yeah, there's a water stone. Let's see, is it over here? Or... Yeah, it's over here. Well, first there's a couple other trainers we can take on. This guy. And those journals over there, if you're wondering, they basically... Team Saturn found Regirock down here. And it's describing what happened when that occurred. But this is what I wanted to show you. Silver Cave. Yep. You can enter Mount Silver from here. At least a part of it. You go up these stairs. And around here is the second leftovers. But, this also has the highest level wild Pokemon you can find before the Elite Four. You really want to train here. Especially because, in this hack, if I recall correctly, you'll want to have your Pokemon between level 55 and level 60 to take on the Elite Four. They're closer to their Gen 1 levels. In fact, I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding, so, uh, here you go. Alright, so I might have gotten a little carried away while I was power grinding, but I figured, you know, there's some pretty tough trainers in Victory Road. That might actually come in handy, at least to cut down on my healing item usage. So, uh, well, 
No, oh, that was the wrong way. These stairs. Now let's take on the last of these guys. At least in this area. There's some more up ahead. Gee, this looks familiar. Huh, what if they're related to the chumps in my EV Emerald playthrough that thought they could take me on 3 to 1? Don't they know how to mess with the motherfucking mailman? If you don't get that joke, just watch that playthrough. Although that was actually kind of a hard one to pull off, because I was trying my hardest not to crack up laughing. And, plot twist! Axel finally got his lazy ass over here, and he'll take care of this guy for you. He'll heal you too. But this means I gotta take on the big boss myself, so we're actually gonna save real quick. Hmm, looks familiar. Okay. Oh yeah, and I gave uh, Garfor leftovers. Now it's maxed out, and it's time to just blow you away. No light screen or any level of protection is going to save you. So I have to pick one. The other one I can actually get later. Hmm. Okay, let me think. We're gonna save real quick. We'll take Latias. This is gonna be a pain. Well, fuck you too, Lancelot. Alright, take two. It shouldn't always one-shot. There we go. That's more appropriate. That's what I had in mind. Now let's try, of course, recover. Ugh. Well, f God damn it, you idiot! Take three. You. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I'm just gonna skip ahead until I actually catch it. Finally! You know, you were a bitch too. So, yeah, you know what? That is what I'm gonna call you. Bitch too. Fuck you! Christ! Stop messaging me while I'm recording, you fucking dipshit! How many times do I have to tell this guy? Nope, not that way. You know, we just gotta go back out the way we came in, pretty much. And now we're here. 
Well, Clara should show up here. But, wait, no, no, yeah, she shows up here. Now we finally get our last gym batch. Now we're finally going to get out of the Dragon's Den. I'll be coming back here later off-camera to train up uh, Clefable, so we'll be on level parity with the rest of the team. And I think that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.